Okay, here's me. I mean, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, here's Tinky. <laughs> here's me. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Um, Tinky the dog. Me and Tinky. See, see. Me. Tinky. Me and Tinky. Um, we're going today on adventures with Tinky the dog number seven. Got my little pack here. Bomb bag with um, bush cam, binoculars, video camera. And um, me and Tinky, Tinky hasn't been out for a while. I ran up the mountain a couple of days ago, just a short run. And um, so we're looking forward to this adventures with Tinky the dog number seven or eight. I'm pretty sure. So um, yeah, I got extra, extra gig on my SD card recording thing. So, um, yeah, we're still at the house now. It's my beautiful crop of rosellas. Check this out for good. They are just so red and so beautiful. So I've had a lovely herb juice smoothie today. Some of their beautiful flowers. And a little buddy there, blessing everything. Facing east, blessing everything. Blessing the sun as it comes up in the east every morning. So, me and Tinky, we're just about to leave. And, um, we're going to have an excellent adventure today. And I'll get back to you and upload the video tonight, possibly. Okay, here we are. Me, I mean, <laughs> I've done it again. Me, obviously, and Tinky the dog. We're at, um... Just at the Botanic Gardens, uh, near the Tanks Art Centre, there's a whole lot of buildings here. Past the Visitor's Centre, beautiful trees everywhere. The air is fresh. Uh, mostly the freshest air in Cairns is on this road because there's the Botanic Gardens here and it's a beautiful old garden. Many, many trees and um, beautiful energy, life force, nature quality to it and it's um, it's majestic in many principles. So here we are, me and Tinky, we're on our adventure and um, God bless it. Uh, yesterday there was a bushfire out that way somewhere and I saw it from the mountain which was way up that way and um, uh, so we're going there today on a journey. That's me and Tanky the dog. Dog, dog. Hey, goody. And um, we're going to get some bushwalking done. Uh, uh, gonna. I'm still giving up cigarettes. Uh, it's day, day three of stage two on my diet. And I um, should get some interesting uh, strength packed muscle workout, mountain climbing energy life force equivalating excellence into our give up smoking blood cells so this will only um, push our nervous system on to strive more to the excellence of um, understanding uh, life and the connection to life in general by the um the excellence of honoring your temple of your body with a bit of a hardcore mountain climbing workout um, this is very good and Tanky the dog is very happy. She got left at home uh, the other day because um, I was uh, going up the mountain uh, for a different reason. But today we're definitely having a big journey, um, me and Tanky the dog. So this is where I... Uh, do this is uh, coming up here is the red arrow uh, the red arrow is um, it's a short bushwalk up up the mountain down the mountain lots of steps very steep climb so this is it up here the good bit uh, one of the good bits excellent good bit is that it, it develops into the blue arrow which is about it goes way up uh, hang on this is the red arrow entrance. It goes up the mountain, up the mountain, up the mountain, uh, around the mountain, around the mountain, around the mountain, back down the mountain. Uh, this is a red arrow. 
but the blue arrow you got to go up the red arrow up to there and then the blue arrow kind of goes in a big circle all the way around this other part of the mountain it's like two or three times longer than back down this track so that's the um the red and blue arrow we sometimes do that but me and Tinky the dog see no dogs we're actually going uh, over the other side of the mountain today so um, that should be good okay here's um, me and Tinky the dog we're still at the botanic gardens just sitting here put ourselves a seat and um, go my heart Dun, da, da, da. A cigarette. Tinky's having a bit of food, and I'm um, just uh, having a little rest before we head off down the other track. And um, this is very good. I've got a drink bottle full of guarana today. Tinky's got some dog bites, so um, this is very good. And we should have a very good bushwalking day. That's for sure. A little campsite at the Botanic Gardens near the roadway. Thank you, the dog. Thank you, you good, good girl. She just spotted her first bush turkey. Oh, not her first one. Her first was just having a coffee. Her first semi tame bush turkey. And um, yeah, she's very keen, interested in it. She's gone up the I can't really see it, but it's um, definitely gone up the um, the mountain somewhere. So um, I think it definitely likes those bush turkeys. Um, she saw it that it was like just over there, uh, 15 meters away. It's her um, her first semi-tame one that she's seen. So she's seen other ones up the mountain and. She really likes to chase them. So, um, yeah. We've both, she's had some dog bickies. And um, I've had a coffee and a cigarette. And um, I think it's about time that we um, head on up the mountain. And um, see if we can see some real bush turkeys. Hey, Tinky. Good one. Here we go. We're on our actual favorite path down past Crocodile River. Dun 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 dun. Tinky, Tinky, you're stepping too much. So, this is actually where some people go fishing. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, barren river or one of the inlets there connected. Lots of mangroves, uh, just off the main road to the Botanic Gardens, and um, people go fishing down here, but I think there's crocodiles, <laughs> but hey, this is the tropics, so I'm definitely allowed to think there's crocodiles. Um, it's actually good to think there's crocodiles, it keeps you wary of the fact, so um, God bless the crocodiles. And he surely does. There's also, um, I just saw down here somewhere, there's a whole lot of little crab holes. I just saw one run into the, um, into the hole, so I think we missed them. But this is, um, Crocodile, Crocodile Creek, I'll call it that, that's good enough, near the Barren River. And, um, Here we are on our favorite path, walking along in the sunshine with that beautiful gleam on the water. Thank you, the dog dog. She's having a ball. Uh, yeah, so I guess I could talk now about my diet. There's not so many tourists around. Um, so day two. Day three. We're actually up to day three of stage two of the diet. Stage two is 
where you start to do the endurance exercise and start to limit your meals. Uh, we just had a bit of a rest, a coffee, some sunflower kernels. Tinky had some dog bites and some water. And um, yeah, we had a rest up there that was like half a K, half 500 meters away. And um, now being stage two of the diet, uh, we're gonna start pumping it up a bit, get some exercise in, do some mountain climbing, and um, generally um, see see how good we can get this exercise thing to be happening because it's it's still very early. Um, in the day, it's probably 10, 10:30. 10 uh, this is actually a stand of um giant a giant stand sorry of dragon fruit there's no flowers on it at the moment so there's actually no dragon fruit but there it is up in the trees up there all the way up there I'll keep my eye out for when it's flowering so I can come and get a big score of dragon fruit so yeah I think the dogs have it too she'll go off the lead soon here we are a bit into the bush here's how much dragon fruit there is there's uh, all this, <laughs> yeah, 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 all up here, the dragon fruit roots. And just here I'm noticing how unusual this is. It's like a dragon fruit, a little mini one, but it's hanging from this big dragon fruit root. It's like amazing cactus architecture. <laughs> Okay, come here Tinky, you can go off the lead now. Uh, Tinky gets a bit snappy around other dogs, so um, I have to keep her on the lead while there's other dogs or else she'll have a sicky little fight with them. But around people she's mostly friendly, so um, this is good. Just went up there. Um, yeah, there's a whole lot of purslane. It's meant to be high in omega-3s, but I'm not sure if there's some kind of bacteria associated to it. So, um, yeah, I'll have to study that a bit more. Definitely. Here we go. Tinky's going to run. You ready? Tinky! Hey, you're doing it! You're doing it! You're doing it! <laughs> do it, dog! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it. <laughs> good dog! Good dog! No! 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 <laughs> That's good footage. Good girl, okay. <laughs> she loves those little runnies in the mud. As soon as you let her off the lead, she has a big run. Up here later, there's a whole lot of um, mangrovey bits on this side. And there's like fresh water in there and mud. And she loves the mud. And she loves this noise of the leaves when she runs on it. And she just goes absolutely sick. So if I have my camera out at this time, I'll definitely get her running through the mud. Do it, Tinky, do it! Go! Go, go, go! Go, Tinky, go, Tinky, go, Tinky! <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna uh, start pumping the endurance factor a little later. And um, yeah, I'll have a ball today. Make sure there's no other doggies on the footpath that Tinky has a little biff up with. Don't want a vet bill. So yeah, there she goes again. It's gonna be a good day. Oh, take it! She's going off today. She's going off today. Doing it. Ah. So um, here we are. Me and Tinky, we're just checking out this tree here. Me and Tinky, the dog dog. There she is. Whoa! <laughs> just checking out the tree. Uh, outside of the mountain, this tree's actually got berries on it. I'll show it in a bit. But, um, think of the dog, she loves it. I think she's, um, she's half dingo. <laughs> and she can't help it. <laughs> I think she's half dingo, half greyhound, cross bull Arab or something like that. Or something, I don't know. But she's definitely got that dingo spread in her. Reference to oh. just doing the lizard thing. 
landing on the rock faces. This is very good. Uh, just a bit of video reference. What these little berries are. Uh, young leaf. Leaf system. There we go. Young leaves, leaf system, and the berries. And this type of tree. Oh, this type of tree up the mountain. They look like young fruit of some sort. I'll have to keep my eye out to um, see how they develop. Uh, if it's an edible type fruit or something. So, um, yeah, here we are. Up top of the mountain doing botany. Me and Tinky the dog on adventures with Tinky the dog number seven. Um, yeah, there was um, actually a a bushfire we saw on it was probably down that way a bit and on the mountainside uh, this we saw it not yesterday the day before when we when I ran up the mountain by myself I got to the lookout with my video binoculars and saw this um, bushfire and um, so I thought I'd bring Tinky today and go adventure there get some fresh charcoal for my garden and um, to make some activated charcoal out of so um yeah fresh char bush charcoal it's um it's good for detoxing the system making activated charcoal mix out of it and um, you can use it for many purposes uh, it's good for fasting and it's also once it's activated with bicarb soda it's also good for um, for alkalizing your system when you're giving up smoking uh, yeah this is a general deterrent the more alkaline your system when you're at the withdrawal phase of uh, smoking tobacco um, the more alkaline the system the easier it is as a de natural deterrent to um, to give up cigarettes so this is very good um, oh here's one of these maybe that's what the little berries are like I don't know they're like a sultanery thing and um Tinky needs a bath so we'll have to do that when I get back and um yeah also stage two uh diet day three I've got you know another another two days of endurance so I want to get some good endurance done today because um yeah I, I had a sluggish day yesterday but Fair enough, I'm still getting over this sleeping sickness that lasted a couple of months. So, um, you know, once I'm beginning the exercise routine after a couple of months of sleeping, it's fair enough to have a sluggish day. But day three of my diet of prime exercise, I definitely want to, um, to, uh, to get a bit of endurance done. So climbing the mountain like this with Tanky the dog, it's um, good little acts of exercise. Uh, just imagine, see the rock face there. It's like um, all the muscles needed to get up this rock face are totally different to other muscles you use. Like you can run down the track, you can run 100 k's on a track and still not use the same diversity of muscles that you need when you're um, climbing a rock face. So, because there was a bushfire yesterday, uh, I really, really want to get some charcoal and um, getting some charcoal for my herb shelf is a good thing. Tinky the dog there, she's like going to come up the mountain with me. She gets a run every day, but mountain running is like just way the much better, that's for sure. So, in this way, we getting a good bit of exercise done today, that's for sure. Hello. So, um, just a couple of little herbs on the side of the rock face here. For um, reference, this is um, very fluffy. It's even got fluffy leaves. It's like, you know, a couple of feet big. This is how the leaves look. Just video reference. Yeah, Tinky, she's helping. See, <laughs> she helps all the time. Another fluffy reference herb. Uh, 
beautiful little purple flowers on this. This is how the leaf structure looks, like a foot big. Uh, so yeah, uh, two new herbs I've spotted in cans. This is very good. Okay, oh, here we go. I think I've seen this one before too. Just trying to judge your phone camera with a rock face. Uh, I think that looks similar to chickweed, I think. I've done so much botany in the past, um, in the past four months or so that, um, I'm crossing up the reference in my memory. I haven't actually got a photographic memory recall yet, <laughs> but I'm working on it. <laughs> hey, Tenke. Okay, so, um, here we go. Gonna do a bit of fun. It's a bit dangerous, but hey. magic sounds. That's all right. That's pretty good. Um, so yeah, this is such a good path. There's a little botany uh, bits on it. Uh, yeah, uh, that's about it, I guess. We'll do a bit of running later. A uh, little bit of running along the path, but not too much. We want to um, actually do the majority of our exercise in the mountain climb. Later when I'm more developed at my diet of prime and exercise routine since I was soluce for a couple of months. Running to the mountain, running up the mountain, coming to the gym. <laughs> oh, but that's like in at least six months I'll be doing that. Hey! <laughs> do it again, do it again, do it again! Hey! <laughs> So, um, yeah, six months to develop such a feat, but right now we're just taking it slow so we can oh, <laughs> build ourselves up slowly for the big one. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> she loves it. Okay, so here's where we leave the river and turn down the path. Oh, actually, Tanke, come on. Um, I will keep my phone up because up here. Dun 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 Up here are these mangroves that I was talking about that Tanky loves to run in, so we might actually keep the phone on Tanky the dog. Oh him. She usually goes silly on the grass. Definitely here she goes. She has a silly on the grass. And she also loves to go silly in this bit. Do it, Tanky! Hey! Do it again, do it again, do it again. Here we go. Ah, natural inclinations of the dog. She loves that. Dog, dog, do it again, do it again, do it again. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Do it, Tanka! You'll love it! Yay! Okay, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, my leg! <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, we do have a lot of fun on our little adventures with Tinky the dog. Um, uh, actually, um, I'm ready. Okay, here we are. No dogs. So we're just going to sit at the gate here, that's my usual stone to sit there, have a cigarette and stuff. Think of the dogs had a run, I've had a run too. That's the bike path we're on. So we're just um, going to sit at this entrance. Um, this maintenance track actually takes you, it goes up to the top of the red arrow up there. Tanky, no dogs remember Messi. Come, we're just sitting here, Bestie. And, um, yeah, I usually go up that by myself sometimes. And, um, do a bit of fossicking on the maintenance track. Um, which is good. Found some nice red rocks and pink ones and white ones and all the pretty colors. So here we are. 
me and Tinky Dinky at my favorite cigarette spot. Um, yeah. Good day, Tinky. You love it. And I'm gonna have a cigarette. Oh, there we go. Dun 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 dun. Take two. Dun dun dun. <laughs> okay. The magic herb, sacred herb tobacco. God bless it. Tinky's got some dog water. She's such a beauty. Uh, just over there. See that tree just down there? It's um. We'll try this zoomy thing. You might be able to see it from here on the camera. I'm not sure. But that tree down there. I think it's a fig tree, and it's full of figs. So we're gonna go and see if we can get some fresh food for today. I did bring an orange, but I might be able to put it back in the fridge. <laughs> I'll, I'll eat that too, maybe. Um, it's actually good. It's good to um to take fresh food on the endurance training. Uh, I had spirulina in the morning. Stage one, I I like to um not take much food, just a little bit of seeds, uh, if I can help it, because I like to utilize my body fat in the exercise stage two uh, I'm happy to take some seeds I had a couple of handfuls of sunflower and pepita seeds pumpkin seeds uh, back at the botanic gardens so that should um, get me through the day but I, I also like to um, have a little bit of fresh stuff to pump that energy factor of fresh fresh fruit enzymes plant compounds all fresh life force energy pump that into your system and get a really good workout so I'm um, studying this botany which I have been doing for this year um, I, I definitely have come a long way in understanding that there's um, a lot of food out there <laughs> definitely Some other things I like to take with me, a little bottle of tea tree oil and a little bottle of cedar wood oil. Um, the tea tree and cedar wood, uh, they're protective of the water. The water supply can have um, uh, giardia and parasites in, in this area, so it's good to protect your body. Um, add a bit of the essential oils to the water. Uh, protect your body from the parasites and pathogens that are in the local area. Um, also, it's um, it's it's good as a parasite cleanse for me too. So, um. okay, here we are. Dun, 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 dun. Big tree haven. All the beautiful figs all the way up there. Uh, I've already gone through one SD card, so I have to keep these videos short just for the reference points. So here we are, it's obviously a fig tree, some figs and stuff. I take some of these. I, th um, I think they're good. <laughs> uh, I'm new to this um, botany stuff, so we'll just take that many and... Oh, hang on, that's full of worms. Bad bits. Those two they look all right so we'll um take them for our journey god bless you fig tree thank you for my lovely food we'll see where else we get to just notice this little purple flower um a little it's very good bit of video reference um had a fig. It's pretty good. <laughs> Hope it was edible fig. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all figs are edible, so I should be all right. I only had one just to stay safe, but um, so yeah, here we are. 
Okay, um, we're near the path, but, um, this, um, they do, we're near the path, but this, um, no dog sign everywhere, it's kind of got me a bit bothered. Oh, check it out. Um, I saw these, I forgot what they're called, they might be racy or something. I might actually take some of them. We're just off the track, going up this bit. There's a noni tree up that way, and I'm going to collect some mushrooms. So we're just headed up this little hilly bit here. Dun, da, 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 do a bit of bush brushing and maybe see where we get to. We definitely have a lot of rules in Australia. No dogs and tanky the dogs. Are we getting off the no dogs bit? I found some lovely mushrooms. And um, I, I haven't actually picked bush mushrooms before, but uh, I'm going to take them home and make sure they're the right ones. And hopefully, um, study them. If they're reishi, I can make a um, nice vinaigrette or a tincture or something, eat them, whatever. See what's best on the Google internet. Uh, I better check this place for dogs as well. Just a minute. Here we have the beautiful cliff face and all the way up there there's um, a few abseilers learning how to abseil and Tinky's on the lead of course but here also, hang on, that's a beautiful noni tree. This is the first native noni I've found. Come on Tinky. Uh, there's one there, I'll see if I can zoom in on it properly. Yeah, there it is. Noni fruit on the noni tree, God bless it. The noni is very healthy. Very, very healthy for me, especially on um, stage two when you want to curb your appetite. Noni is one of the best health foods there is. Mango leaf powder, noni leaf powder, that's what I've been having. the appetite and helps me go bushwalking, boost my energy up, which I have. So, Tinky's happy here, at least me, and lots of um, abseilers, I'll see if you can see them. People are abseiling down the cliff. It's all very good. So, these are beautiful cliffs. Um, I think it's an old quarry. Uh, it's just, or I'm not sure if it's a natural landscape, I'm really not sure. It's beautiful um, amphitheater type effects to it, natural amphitheater. Okay, we're down off the mountain, there's the mountain. We're actually going to go up around here, around the side up there. See where you spot where that bushfire was actually. But I'm just here at this beautiful tree. It has these most amazing pods on it. And they smell like caribou. smelling plants I've ever smelled. And um, there's actually two of them, one down there as well. And they're just majestic. So me and Tinky the dog, Tinky, come on! Over there there's the mango tree and a lychee tree, a couple of mango trees. Okay, so here I am, on the side of the road, there's the mountain, up there, there's actually the tower up there, uh, that tower we could see from the lookout, uh, way over there, up that way, on the uh, Lake Morris Road, so here, just a bit of video journal, for, um, for the plants, Tinky's helping again. Video journal documentation, a new herb, weed, roadside weed herb that I would definitely like to study um, on Google at a later date. There's more of it. It's like half a foot big. 20 centimeters or something. So um, this is very good. Tinky's just walking along with me. We're on this little track. 
near the airport. Oh, planes and helicopters and everything. Very exciting. So, um, of course there were all those no dog signs back there. I thought we'd, um, not many nonies and not many mangoes, so we didn't pick, didn't pick anything. But we're gonna, um, head up, uh, around this mountain and see if we can get some good charcoal from that bushfire we saw yesterday. I still haven't seen where the actual charcoal is, but I'm pretty sure it's over that way. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, just here, across the road, we have pandanus. Pandanus gets a nut on them that are edible and lots of usages for the other plant products. We're just at the road here. Uh, there's a Davidson plum or some type of vertican plum maybe up there, a tree but it's not in fruit at the moment. And up here we have a whole lot of, um, I think they're called black boy palms. Stand. There's another stand up there across the mountain that looks out over the airport. So we're just here, me and Tinky the dog, Dinky. We're at this beautiful um, bike track next to the road. Tinky's like having a ball off the lead. She loves it. She loves it. She needs a bath bump, that's for sure. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're just um, noticing lots of trees, eucalyptus, wattles, macarangas. Um, there was some uh, reed bulrush things in the creek back there, but it was like swampy polluted, so I didn't stop for that. Um, so we have been doing a lot of um, botany research, and also I have an inking card which I can use as well, so I don't have to be so severe with the video shot. So this is a very good thing as well. So yeah. That dog dog, there she is. It's over here. So I know it's very windy, but we're just on the other side of the road now. And um, here we are at this beautiful tree, and it's actually a fig. I'm quite sure this is all fig trees, fig berries on the trunk of the So I'm I'm actually planning to um come back to this on the way home and pick a bag full of fig berries and see what I can do with them. This is very good. Uh, still at the fig tree. Decided to get some before I left because um, uh, we, we probably probably won't even come back this way. We might take the big long route around. goes all the way around that way. That way, that way, down up reservoir and back down in more. So um, this is quite a little blessing. Um, I probably got a kilo, kilo and a half. We have another little monkey and sunflower kernels, and um, all is very good. God bless it. Thank you, lovely tree. God bless you. So I'm still on the side of the road, but down a bit, and I've just come across. See all the berries on the ground. Here we go for a video reference. This is the berry. This is the unripe berry. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is the leaf structure. Oh, hang on. The leaf structure. Uh, the bud tips. any today. Uh, where did they go? Here we go. Get some of these. Let's just have a little look. They look like grapes. And they're like um, a bit like figs. So they look tasty. But um, just for video reference I won't eat it today. <laughs> They smell a bit like a grape as well, so um, here's what the trunk
trunk looks like. And um, the trees, obviously. Okay, we've just crossed the train tracks and down the road. We've still going around the mountain, but hey, it's a sign of a pine tree. <laughs> um, pine has a very high cytokinin content in its in its inner bark. So um, also, it's good for um, pine needles. Are excellent source of vitamin C. Pine pollen is an excellent source of a uh, testosterone building uh, Native American Indian warrior tribe thing that gets you on a warrior hunt running up the mountains and stuff. So um, it, I, I guess it's a bit like guarana. And um, this, thing, um, this is the stage of where the little pine buddies are at. what if that's the young fruit I recently got some from a tree around um, near, near the shore where I live so I hope it can still be here with wind but we're going to pick all these little pine buddies and pull in them get some pine needles and baby pine cones and make a big um uh, dehydrated tonic powder out of them and see if that will get me running up the mountain the rest of it. So Tinky's having another rest and that's what I'm doing now. God bless it. God bless you pine tree. Here we are. Uh, we're actually on Camaranga Road at the um, Old Smithfield. Okay, we're um, me and Tinky the dog. Tinky. We're just going down the road. <laughs> Um, didn't actually get to do the bushwalking because there's all these um, no dogs allowed trying to yeah we're just taking it easy going down the road oh quick turn gate uh, no no Oh. Uh -oh. is very nice to people, but she gets snappy with the other dogs. Come on, Tinky. Here we go. Okay. Tinky the dog. We're heading home. Uh, I feel like I've walked about 20 or 30 k's today. It's chronic. Um, we're both very, very tired. 